Welcome to Travel Talk, the show where I interview people whose lives are focused on travel or have been inspired by travel. And what better way to get to know someone than to have a drink with them. And today, we're talking travel with Sydney Style and we're having some mocha lattes. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, well it is the morning so we couldn't exactly. have wine yet, but cheers. <laughs> cheers, awesome. So Sydney, uh, in, you know, introduce yourself, tell my audience a little bit about you and what you do. So my name is Sydney Summer and I write the blog Sydney Style and I have a YouTube channel as well, Sydney Summer. I'm from Miami and that's how I met David. I was a best, best friend with his sister. So it's so cool that we're doing similar jobs now in the same industry. It's and, awesome. And Sydney actually connected me to the Los Angeles world through my agent, which no, I owe you Oh my so gosh, much. so LA, my agent. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so uh, I started my blog when I was working at Style Network. So I used to work for E Entertainment and Style Network. I was a fashion editor there. And I just got so enthralled by websites and social media. And it's so cool to be able to connect to people. Like, you know, I love TV, but I can connect to you guys here. Like, you can leave us comments down below. And I, we can answer back and everything's so quick and immediate. So I started my blog. Um, Oh, seven years ago now, eight years ago now, and it was all about aspirational but achievable fashion. So I try to teach people what the trends are, whether it's celebrity or runway, and show how to do it easily in real life or, you know, on a budget, like not crazy expensive. And then I expanded and I started doing beauty and I started doing travel and just incorporating lifestyle into my brand and now I do everything. <laughs> and then how, where do people see you? I mean, your blog, you have videos as well, Instagram, yes. you're big. Yes. More friends on Insta, of course. <laughs> um, so my Instagram and my YouTube are Sydney Summer, and my blog is Sydney Style. What do you want your audience to learn from your videos and your photos? So I try to provide to everyone is useful information. So I look at myself more as you know, like an in-style magazine, not Vogue. Like Vogue has beautiful pictures and everything's so dreamy. I'm not one of those girls. I'm so uncomfortable modeling. Oh my gosh, I feel so weird when I take outfit of the day photos. I love doing YouTube videos because I was on camera for a while. I've done TV segments and all that. Um, so I just want to be helpful to people and I want to teach everyone what the trends are, how to make it work for your body type, how to make it work, you know, whether you're going to school, whether you're a working mom, every type of lifestyle. And I just hope that it can inspire you to kind of think outside the box when it comes to fashion and then uh, because I love getting to know you guys we're one big family um, I you know I tell you about my life and the beauty products I love the places I love to go and it's just I like to think of myself as like your cool sister who you just want to chat with all day you are like my cool sister I'm your older sister <laughs> <laughs> hey it worked cheers, it worked. cheers, cheers. <laughs> So let's talk about travel. So what's the destination that combines the best of fashion and experiences? Paris. Paris. Yeah. <laughs> Easiest answer ever. I'm also obsessed with Paris. Um, I've been there so many times and each time you get a different experience depending who you go with. I've been there with my mom, friends, ex-boyfriends, by myself. Going by myself was actually my favorite experience. I would sit at cafes, I would sit in museums, I would sketch, I was really into art when I was younger so it was nice to get back into that. And just the people there, they're so chic and so inspiring and there's, you know, the art, the scenery, I just, ugh, my favorite place. <laughs> so Paris over New York for sure. It's hard because my whole family's from New York so I look okay. at New York as my second home. Uh, but Paris is just magical. Okay, so what was the moment in your life that, you know, that I guess changed your life and you started getting into this fashion and then obviously into travel? Well, travel happened when I was really young. My parents would always take me on vacations over the summer. You know, they'd save up and we'd go somewhere amazing. And the time I remember the most, you know, growing up in Miami, you do a lot of cruises and you go to the beach a lot. But they took me to London one year. I think I was six or seven. And we went to the National Portrait Gallery. I fell in love with Queen Elizabeth the first. I wanted to name all my dolls Elizabeth, and I just fell in love with the culture. And ever since then, I've just loved different cultures and experiencing them. Of course, as an adult, it's a little different. Um, but even as a kid, just going to museums and meeting new people and seeing their different fashions and clothing, and it was always about clothing, obviously, for me. <laughs> but that really inspired me, just a tiny little girl. Awesome. So what shoes do you have on? <laughs> I'm actually wearing Topshop. See, affordable. I mix the Gucci with the Topshop. So it's all about high and low up in here. <laughs> oh, man. So what's uh, your funniest and most shocking moment on your travels? Uh, 
Well, there's a lot, but they're not appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did have this one funny one. I was in, have you been to Costa Rica? Yes. Okay, so cool, right? Amazing. And, oh, so amazing. And we were walking to breakfast, and there are all these monkeys in the tree, and they kept throwing mangoes at us. <laughs> and I don't know, it was what? like, yeah, they were legit throwing mangoes at us, and I felt like they were just laughing at us, and it was the weirdest thing. So, that was a funny memory. So, Cindy, right now, we're gonna go through like a rapid fire of questions, okay? Okay. So here we go. Let me get the paper here. So, favorite food? Sushi. Favorite drink? Wine. And then coffee. And then coffee. Okay, okay. <laughs> favorite new travel fashion uh, dress? Fashion? Well, those slip pillowcases, they're silk and they're so pretty and they make your eyes all soft. You don't have one? I don't have one. <gasps> oh my goodness. I you know what I'm it. sending you? You haven't heard of these? No. Oh, there's these silk pillowcases. You can wear them on the plane. You can wear them you know, when you go to sleep, and I mean, you don't have to worry about it because you're younger than me and you're a boy, but they make sure you don't get any of those wrinkles. Okay, so city with the most stylish people. Paris, duh. Obviously. <laughs> okay, so favorite airport? Miami. Do you yeah. wanna know why? Okay. Because of La Careta, they have the ham croquetas, the, I don't speak Spanish, I pretend I do. Um, pastoritos. De guayaba? Yeah, guayaba. <laughs> <laughs> so basically ham croquettes and guava pastries in American talk. So you like you? Awesome. Favorite airline? American. American? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I, I They're do always it, really nice to I me. do it for the one world. Mm. The miles. The place that you were that you would return to over and over again without any more. Paris. Uh, uh, I don't even know. It's like love Paris. Uh, <laughs> so if you had to choose one item of clothing, accessory, or makeup, what would it be? Well, I always bring my long shot bag with me, so it's this expandable tote. It is so amazing. Um, it's just black nylon, leather handle, nothing fancy, but it expands, so whenever I come back, I can expand it and have more room. Okay. So it's very practical. Nice. Do they have one for men? Uh, it's, but I was about to say bisexual. <laughs> 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 Alright guys, if you love this video, please follow Sydney Summer on Instagram, check out her website and her YouTube channel, and... And make sure to give us a thumbs up, leave a comment below, let us know any of your questions, and obviously, subscribe to this guy. Awesome. Thank you, Sydney. <laughs>